Welcome to our mukbang. Today we're gonna be eating um, pepperoni pizza and sausage, some pasta, breadsticks, and more. Enjoy. Hello, we're the colonists and today we're going to be talking about the British taxes and acts the government has passed. We are from New York and are outraged about Parliament passing the Stamp Act and the Sugar Act. We feel as if the war does not involve us personally. Therefore, we should not allow Britain to raise these dumb taxes. Yeah, no taxation without representation. It really put a strain on local businesses. Can you believe how they keep raising taxes on us, but the British don't have to pay anything? Uh, yeah, I know, right? Can't even sell my tea. Same, Eli. I totally agree with Cornelia. I know, because of this, I'm running out of business. Oh, these dumb taxes. Do they really think that they can just get extra money from us? Yeah, I've already started to boycott on these British goods. Really? Oh my god. Wait, but how? Well, for one, I stopped reading, drinking British tea. Oh yeah, and I've also stopped reading British newspapers. I'm going to start doing that too. I'm done with these Britons. Wait, guys, did you hear about what happened in Boston? Oh, I heard about the, all the stuff that happened down there. Wait, what? What happened? Please, do tell us. Well, basically, these soldiers came into the city acting like they owned the darn place. They started saying stuff to them until the colonists had gotten tired of it and began to throw rocks at them. Then all of a sudden, the soldiers fired like seven shots into the crowd. Before you know it, five people are dead. I wonder if that's going to happen to us. <laughs> I hope not. Oh wait, do you guys also hear about the Boston Tea Party? How do you guys know all this stuff? I have sources. <laughs> okay, so what happened? Mm, well, here's what happened. All the colonists had dressed up as Native Americans to impersonate them. But they did this at night, so businesses were closed. Although there was a curfew for them, they didn't care apparently. Anyways, after they had gone out of it, they had dumped tea into the harbor, which was their way of protesting. Oh yeah, I think about King George III sending troops over there. Wow, I can't believe all of this is happening. Oh, why? Wow, it's so crazy. Oh, that idiot. He keeps sending more and more troops over from Britain. <coughs> Bless you, Brister. Don't eat it all. Don't try not to. Yeah, I'm thinking of joining the militia to fight against it myself. True thing. Yeah, I really do hope that we go into war. You know that is British tea, right? <laughs> Tastes like them too. Straight into Concord, crazy revolutionary revere. Making sure of our patriots there here. Along this route, without no doubt, the British regulars are all coming out. There's Scott and George riding with me. Could you want my land into a coming by? Yeah, no taxation without representation. It really got put a strain on local businesses. I wonder if that's going to happen to us. <laughs> I hope not. Oh, wait, do you guys also hear? I heard about that. I heard about King George. <laughs> no, 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 it's bad! <laughs> no, 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 no. Mm, well, here's what happened. All the comments. <laughs> Special guest time! Hey. Hey. What's up, y'all? Hey. Samuel Adams! Yeah. Revolution, baby! Yeah. Oh, wait a 